Alrighty kids, today we're going to continue celebrating the new year. Teachers and Lila, what most excites you about the new year? Hmm. You know, I have to say, getting new things for school hmm? and getting to meet new people. Okay, those are all very exciting. But do you know what the most exciting thing is? What is it? Being a new creation in Christ. Ooh, that is exciting. And that's what we're going to be learning about today. Yes, boys and girls. So our new creation big idea is because of God's love, I am a new creation. But before we get into the lesson, let's prepare our hearts for worship and invite God's Spirit to be with us. Dear Jesus, thank you for bringing us all together and thank you so much for the love that you've given us all. Lord, we just pray that you continue to guide us and help us through this series. In Christ's name we pray, Amen. Amen.
about being new creations in Christ. New creations because of Christ, because of Jesus, right? So, I've got some things here with me. I'm sure you're wondering why I have these things. I have soap and I have a bucket. Can you tell me what we use these things for? To clean things. Yes, boys and girls, we use soap to clean things and buckets to help us as we're cleaning things, right? But there's something missing here. Do you know what it is? Well, this is the Bible. That's not what's missing, but something else that helps us clean. Water! Yes, water! Ta-da! There we go. Now we've got everything we need to clean. Water is actually the most important thing that we need because we can't clean with just soap alone. And we can't clean with a bucket alone. We actually need this water here to help us clean whatever it is that we need to clean. And this actually brings us into what we're talking about being new creations. Last week, boys and girls, we started celebrating the new year with a play and praise party. And we spoke about all the new things that could be coming in the new year, like a new class you're getting into, new friends you could be making, a new school maybe. There's a lot of new things that come with each new year. 
but we said boys and girls that the greatest new things that we get to celebrate as followers of Jesus is being new people, new creations because of Jesus. So today we're asking ourselves the question, how does Jesus make us new creations? Well, we're going to find the answer in the Bible, of course. And we find the answer in the book of Ephesians, chapter 5, verse 26. Let's read it together to find out what it says. Christ used the word to make the church clean by washing it with water. Christ did so that he could give the church to himself like a bride in all her beauty. He died so that the church could be pure and without fault, with no evil or sin or any other wrong thing in it. So boys and girls, what this verse is telling us is that Jesus uses the word of God to wash us clean of all sin. We know that Christ came into the world to die for our sins, right? But we are not made new just because he died on the cross, but we are made new through the word of God as well. We need both. We need Jesus to die on the cross for our sins, which he did. And we also need the teachings of God's word because boys and girls, God's word teaches us how to live as children of God. And what Jesus did when he died on the cross for our sins is that he made a way for us to be children of God who live their lives in a way that pleases God without any fault, without any sin. Just like what happens when we clean things. Imagine your clothes. Whenever you clean them or when your mommy or your daddy or somebody who's older than you cleans them is doing that so that they can be without any dirt on them. So when you wear them, you could look beautiful, right? That's why we clean our clothes. In the same way, boys and girls, Jesus cleans us. When things are clean, they're almost like new. But Jesus doesn't just clean us in a way where we can get dirty again. He cleans us forever. He cleans us in a way that makes us new completely. Because he doesn't just clean the outside. I mean, the clothes that we wash, they'll be clean, right? And we will wear them and we'll look beautiful outside. But Jesus cleans an important part inside of us. He cleans our hearts and our souls, boys and girls, so that because of him and his word, we can be pure and holy, just like God, forever. And this way, we get to be children of God, living with God without any sin or fault forever. Wow, isn't this amazing? So what do we need to do to make sure that we stay clean? We need to have God's word inside of our lives. We need to have Jesus by believing in him, but we also need to have his word. How, boys and girls? Well, by loving God's word in the same way as we love Jesus. We can't just love Jesus and not his word, because the Bible teaches us that the word of God teaches us about Jesus. So if we believe in Jesus and we love Jesus, we need to love his word. And then we also need to learn his word. When we learn God's word, we're learning about Jesus. And also, boys and girls, we need to be led by God's word. This way, we are led by Jesus as Jesus' followers. And as we live our lives this way, we live our lives as new creations all because of Jesus. And he uses the word of God to wash us clean from the inside out not just the outside. He makes us beautiful inside, boys and girls, using the word just like we use water to clean things. He uses the word of God to clean us and then we become new, brand new. In the book of Romans chapter 12 verse 2, the Bible explains more about this inner change, this change inside, being made new inside by Jesus through the word of God. Do you want to read it with me? Okay, let's read it together and learn what it says. Romans 12 verse 2 says, Do not be shaped by this world. Instead, be changed within by a new way of thinking. Then you will be able to decide what God wants for you. And you will be able to know what is good and pleasing to God and what is perfect. Wow, boys and girls. 
I want to be perfect in God's eyes. I want to know what pleases Him. Do you want to know the same? I hope you do, because this way we know how to live our lives in a way that pleases God, and we worship God when we do this. But the only way to do this is if we choose to follow God's word. The scripture said we shouldn't be shaped by the world, right? But we need to be changed inside, within us, through a new way of thinking. So to be a new creation means we need a new way of also thinking. We can't think like our old selves, right? Yes! And the way we can have a new way of thinking is by learning the Word of God, loving the Word of God, and being led by the Word of God. That way we are changed from the inside out because of God's Word through Jesus. And this is amazing! I hope you're excited about this as well. Now, we are going to actually play our memory verse song to practice our memory verse that speaks about being new creations. And as we do this, remember this teaching and remember that every day, if you want to be new, all you need is to go to God's Word and ask Jesus to use God's Word to make you new by giving you a new way of thinking through His Word. And also, remember boys and girls, we must share all the things that we learn about God's word, right? All the things that we learn about Jesus, because they're all about God's love. Share them with your friends, share them with your brothers, your sisters, even your mommy and your daddy. You can also share what you learn with them and teach them as well. That's amazing and exciting. I hope you're really excited. Now, let's pray and then after we pray, we will get to practice our memory verse song. Let's close our eyes, boys and girls. Jesus, we thank you so much for your word. We thank you for the power of your word to make us new from the inside out. We ask that you help us to be new creations and have a new way of thinking by loving your word and also learning your word and being led by your word. Help us every single day to obey you. Help us to grow in our love for you and to learn more about your love for us. We ask this in your name, Jesus Christ. Amen. Bye, boys and girls. See you next time.
a breakdown. You guys ready? Bye.